been sure to make this Back to the Future go-kart. you can ever build if you have two old kick scooters, four wheels and an old chair. It's amazing to drive in when it has double steering. So just watch this video and I'll show you step by step how to build it. Okay, this is what you're gonna need. Some wood, a chair, two kick scooters, four wheels, two table legs, two small wheels, some screws and some strong cable. Okay, this is how the go-kart's frame looks like. If you want to see all the centimeters, go ahead and stop the video and take a screenshot. Screw four angles on, like this. This old cake scooter here is five centimeter wide. So I make this five and a half centimeter so it can fit in. Take the 17 centimeters and place it right here and the 26 right here. I've cut this a little bit sharp so it looks like a race car. Take two angles and place right here. I use two screws right here to screw it on. Next thing you're gonna do is take the 15 centimeters and place it right here on the back and screw it on with two angles. Take this piece of wood and place it 35 centimeters away from the 17 centimeters and screw it on with two screws. Take the 26 centimeters and place it right here and here. But first you have to cut this part of the wood because the cable is going through right here. Next you need some hinges. You need to drill two holes in them so it looks like this. So it can fit on your wheel. Place the hinges right here. I've also drilled a little hole right here so the cable can fit in. Drill a hole right here, same size as the cable. And then see if the cable can fit in. Like that. But it's still too early to put the cable on. Make sure that the hole in the hinge is the same size as the cable. I don't know what these are called, but in Danish they are called Bjelkesko. So if you know the translation in English, please comment it down below. Next you have to cut these off so it can fit on right here. Now you have to take this angle and place it right here and on the other side. Now that we have cut this off, you have to drill a hole right here two centimeters in so the bolt can fit in. Take 
take this angle and place it on the big angle and screw it on with a little screw now take two small donuts and place it here and same goes under Put a little donut on top of the bolt here and screw it on. Place another hinge right here and screw it on with three screws. Now that we have put the hinge on, we have to drill a little hole in the corner so the cable can go in. to put the wheels on. to put the scooters on the go-kart. But first you have to take the deck off the scooter. You have to assemble the first scooter here, but first you have to lift the go-kart three centimeters. You have to cut a little bit so the scooter can fit in. Next you have to cut 10 centimeters off your scooter. But you have to take the handlebar off. Make sure you also cut 10 centimeters off the handlebar. Make sure you drill a hole same size as the bolt. I'm gonna test the go kart now. You can steer in flight mode. Thank you. Next you have to attach the other scooter on the front. But first you have to take the front wheel off. When you have taken the wheel off you have to bend one of the sides and cut the other side off. And then take the handlebar and turn it. And then screw two angles on. Fuck. Next you have to use an iron bar and attach it here with the donut. And the same on the other side. Drill a hole in your iron bar and lock it with a screw and two bolts. Now your go kart can turn, but you need to lock your handlebar first. Put a screw and a bolt. <laughs> Lift your go-kart three centimeters and attach two small angles and screw them on. I just wanted to tell you why you should lift your go-kart three centimeters. Yeah. It's because the small wheels is gonna lift up your go-kart. Before you screw the wheels on, you have to cut a line in the wood. Now 
Next, you have to screw the tape leg wheels on with two screws. Next, you have to screw these big angles on. Now we're going to test the go-kart again. This is the normal steering and this is flying mode. Well, that's how we steer. Now we need to put the cables on. So drill hole, same size as the cable. wire it out and put the wire in the little hole we made earlier. Take the wire and put it in the cable. And then put it in the hole. The cable is going under the go-kart, so drill two small holes here so only the wire can go through. Attach the wire on the front wheels. Put the wire inside the cable again. Use two cable connectors and two iron rings so you can pull the wheels up. Use these small nails to attach the cables on the bottom of the go-kart. Screw these two wooden plates on. two pieces of wood like this and screw them on on the front. When you have screwed the two pieces of wood on, you have to screw this wooden plate on. Make a wooden plate and screw it on on the front here. Make two wooden plates so they fit on here. Next you need two wooden plates to place it on the back. So you can decorate it. The last and final thing we're going to do is to screw the seat on. Yeah. Now we're ready to go back to the future. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a like and see you in my next video. Bye bye.